Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 74, part 2. And right here on my knee, we have our little Ayam Samani chicken named Braveheart. And on my shoulder, we have our little singing chicken, our little Kagome, who's just taken a little nap right now. Oh, hello there, Kagome. Such a sleepy little Onagadori. Yeah, you're the sleepy bird. Oh my. And hello there, Itty Bitty 666. And right over there, just completely zonked out at the moment, is our little silky chicken named Stormy. Hello there, Stormy. And hello there, Flippy Birdo. Well, it looks like we got a bunch of tired little chickens on our hands. But look at this. Braveheart's tail feathers have grown quite a bit. And hello there again, Michael Green 25. There we go. Well, it seems our pen has not figured out all of its technical issues so far. Still have a few pop up every once in a while, but that can happen once you get like 5,000 people watching at once and making lots and lots of comments. I guess it's a little bit too much for the system now, but hopefully it gets a little bit more resilient as time goes on. Oh my, oh my, Stormy, you are just so happy there on the top of all of the cubbies. You are on the little fluffiest place you can find, and you're like the king of your own little castle. Yeah, do you agree with that, Kagome? Is he the king? Oh my, a big yawn from Kagome. Cleaning time from Kagome. A little bit of preening, showing off her. And yes, Michael Green. Yeah, if I could ever figure out that mic thing, I might try Twitch in the future again. I've tried a couple of test little things. Though I do love our um, Reddit audience as well. And hello there, weirdest man. Ooh, you can hear all those little crackling noises as she focuses on her feathers. Yeah? Oh, feel free to keep cleaning, Kagome. Covering my shirt in a little bit of your bird dandruff. And that's how the... Oh, I just saw a little, like, snowflake come down as you did that. Oh, dear, oh, dear. And Stormy the Stylish Storm Cloud, Kagome the Unlit Phoenix, and Braveheart the Sweet-Hearted Gothic Darling. Such lovely descriptions of all of you birds there, Flippy Birdo. Oh, there you go. And Michael Green 25, well, we, um, in part one, and they started to, um, eat their, uh, scrambled eggs before. And we then just started to kind of uh, play with them um, here on my shoulder. Oh, that's a lovely song there, Kagome. That's a lovely song. Yeah? Oh, dear. You have such a regal little bearing there. And a surprisingly long neck. Oh, my. Oh, and Seth Nagor, thank you for your kind comment. I'm glad that you've been enjoying these streams. They are sort of like a lovely form of meditation for me. Almost a little bit of therapy, in a way. It's hard to feel mad, bad, or even really sad when I'm just watching these chickens going about their day. You know, they have nice little lives here. Oh, dear, oh, dear. And Weirdest Man, yes, I weighed most of them, but Braveheart was putting up a little bit of a fuss. She would not stay still. 
Kagome was kind of talking to her. And as a result, she was using our um, scale as just kind of a treadmill. And I feel Kagome preening the back of my head. Kagome. You don't need to preen the back of my head or balance on one foot. Oh dear. And Stormy is kind of surveying his little kingdom here from the top of all of the cubbies. He's found the highest spot with the um, most little towels, and he has just fluffed up and looks so content there. He's just kind of watching us and enjoying himself. And um, Valis Serpal, um, all of these guys are um, pets. They're members of our family and friends for life. So they shall not be eaten. Um, you know, we just want them to live long, happy, and healthy lives. There we go. And look at all of this dandruff that you are picking up as you're preening there, Braveheart. Oh my. That's okay. These are old, old pajama pants. So it's fine if you get some little bit of dander there. And she's a lovely little Ayam Samani chicken. And hopefully she'll let me weigh her in just a little bit. And Alley B88, um, Stormy has indeed had a couple more little rooster crows. I think he's sort of coming into himself, though it's not too loud when he does try to do it. He seems to surprise himself more often than not. Kagome keeps on preening the back of my head when I'm not watching, because I'm not wearing my hat. She thinks, she oh dear, oh dear. Kagome. You should preen yourself, not dad. There you go. And um, I think we are gonna just kind of take a break from snuggle time now, guys. And I'm gonna try to weigh Braveheart again. Yeah, Braveheart. All right, Kagome. 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 I don't need a hairdresser right now, and you don't. Come here. Come here. I want you to go play with Stormy. Play with Stormy. Come on. Ooh. Come here. Come here, naughty bird. Come here. There you go. Go play with Stormy. Go play with Stormy. There you go. All right. Now I'm going to take... Nope. Oh, we can hear Braveheart just clucking away on us. There you go, Braveheart. There you go. Hold on, hold on, and I'm gonna put the camera down here. Oh, I know you don't like getting weighed. I know, I know. But today you're getting weighed. You are. Oh, there you go. See, it's nothing bad. It's just numbers on a screen. So you... Six, twenty-six. Six hundred and twenty-six, which is four grams more. Oh, and there's an escape from our Braveheart. So Braveheart went up a little bit, not as much as I expected, but that's still a little bit of a gain there. There we go, Braveheart. There we go. You finally got to have yourself a lovely little treat of these scrambled eggs. Oh dear, oh dear. Lovely, lovely. And I just added a bit of the uh, red pepper flakes to the scrambled eggs for a nice little treat of um, some protein, some fats, and lovely. And that sounds like a good idea there, Michael Green 25. Oh, a nice lovely treat of some yummy scrambled eggs. Yes. Good. You know, last night Stormy beat you in um, the amount of weight that she gained, that he gained. 
up. You should eat up as much as you want. Oh, there you go. A few more yummy little pieces of scrambled egg. Hey, Tyke. Well, a fun little fact about chickens is that um, all of their first meals are actually the remnants of their own eggs. Um, that's one of the reasons why little baby chicks don't need to um, eat or drink anything for the first two to three days of their lives. And um, feeding your chickens the occasional um, egg can actually be a healthy little treat for them. It has all of the nutrients that they need, lots of good fats and protein. Though I would recommend that you never serve them um, raw egg because that can teach them to um, eat their own eggs. And no, I'm not a robot. I just speak softly just to keep the chickens nice and calm. And uh, the egg in question never was fertilized. So as a result, never would have become a chicken. And this is not cannibalism. Um, I, know, I do know that um, there are some chicken owners out there that do serve their chickens uh, chicken meat. Um, that's not something I would ever do. But, um, you know, giving them the occasional egg for a bit of a nutrient boost, that is something that I think is a nice little thing. And Braveheart really does seem to be enjoying the eggs today. And you can see her wiping off her beak after her bites uh, right there on the blanket, which is a very nice thing to do. Keeping yourself nice and tidy. Lovely. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, and hello there, Kagome, giving us a good glimpse of your tail and your butt. Oh my. And Kagome and Stormy did have a few little bits of the egg, but they didn't really care for it as much as Braveheart seems to. I know, Braveheart, you are a fan of the eggs. Or maybe you're a fan of the uh, red pepper flakes. Either way, I'm glad that you enjoyed today's little treat. Maybe if I put a little dash of um, yogurt on top of this with some sesame seeds, they would go even more nuts over it. And Allie B88, um, Braveheart and Kagome are getting a little bit braver each day, though it's hard to tell sometimes. They're still kind of giving their um, baby noises whenever we're taking them back out and back in. They kind of complain to us about um, bringing them outside in the first place. And, you know, Stormy is Stormy. Um, he is really brave about being outside. He doesn't really care that he's been outside. He is just pretty chill wherever he goes. And Braveheart, I'm going to give you